In this video, you will see how the requirements perspective enables you to view, link, and manage your requirements directly from within the Simulink and Stateflow editors. When entered, the perspective includes a browser to navigate the hierarchy of requirements associated with the model. The requirements property inspector shows the details of the selected requirement. On the diagram, annotations can be displayed, which show the details of the requirement to communicate more information with the design. Badges appear on any blocks with links to show where traceability exists. The browser shows a tabular view of the hierarchy of requirements associated with the model. Requirements can be imported from external tools as read-only references or authored directly in Simulink requirements. You can see the hierarchy of the requirements in the browser and the attribute values of the requirements in the columns of each row, such as its ID and summary. The property inspector shows the details of the requirement selected, including its links to other artifacts. You can use the implementation and verification status to quickly assess the status of the implementation and verification of the requirements and identify where there are gaps. Blue in the implementation column shows how many requirements have implementation links for this hierarchy. By hovering, you can see the details of the status of the implementation. In this case, 17 of the 18 requirements in this hierarchy have implementation links. This requirement, avoid repeating commands, does not have an implementation link. If we open up the driver switch request, we can see that the do not repeat block is missing a badge. This quickly tells us that the link is missing for this, for this block and it needs to link to a requirement. A link can be quickly created using drag and drop. Badge now appears on the, on the block. When we refresh the implementation status, that now the implementation is complete and we have all 18 of our requirements are now implemented by the design. You also want to ensure that your requirements have test cases. The verification status shows you a rollup of the verified by links to the requirements and the latest test results of those tests. The verification shows green if the link test passed and red if it failed. We see here that this test for cancel switch detection has failed. The verified by links show us that the cancel button is the link test case from Simulink test. The red X indicates the last test failed. We can navigate directly to the test results in Simulink test. Also, navigation is provided to go back to the requirements for bidirectional traceability between test and requirements. If we look at the cancel button test case, you can also add a link to the requirements from here simply by selecting requirement and then linking to that requirement. In summary, the requirements perspective makes it easier to work with requirements in Simulink and Stateflow. You can author and view requirements, create links with drag and drop, and track the status of your implementation and test. To learn more about Simulink requirements, visit the product webpage or sign up for a trial.